skills for care accolades 2018 i feel like you should have called in for a snow day people if i get stuck in london i'm gonna obviously i'm joking it's very very snowy is that our first crash? oh yep we're just passing the first crash of the day oh dear oh dear so far the main road's looking okay so we're just gonna take our time going on the main road route very excited for the award show we don't know who this celebrity host is so so yeah okay we're off look at my face curls Emma's done all my face and my curls but boo-boos the suit didn't turn up Emma's getting changed later we're going to Bill's for lunch and then got dinner at the award show tonight so I'll take some little videos and things so you can all see bless her in the freezing cold she hates pulling over on the hard shoulder bless her heart and soul all right was it all right let there be water what you can always do is is you can always put another bottle in and then we can um, go somewhere that sells coffees and I can ask them for some sterilised water. Do you want to? Still not coming out. Huh? Still not coming out. Is it frozen, do you reckon? Does the van need to be in drive mode? No. Oh dear. So I don't think we're going to get caught snowed in, but the window may freeze over. I'm live! So if you are interested to wonder why I look like a girl today, it is not crafty related, but it is very much the Zach disability related. So pop over to my Instagram, my other Instagram account, the Zach's Life. The Zach's Live Let's Track Disability. So pop over there and find out why I look like a girl. And currently on the motorway with a free step over window. Can you flip it? It's the Zach's Live Let's Track Disability is my other um, Instagram and Facebook page, which is all about disability and my family and all things that might not necessarily be strictly related oh god she's on live yes you can shout at me she's on the live video right now Who? you're gonna shout at me Who is? chloe i don't know what to do it's frozen mm, i'm really angry i'm totally gonna stay professional right now not happy so we're gonna have to turn off the motorway go to a garage and get antifreeze and we'll go to a garage Just give it a bit I don't, it might warm up for the engine yeah but I don't really want to risk it if we've got somewhere safe we can pull off here because I used to work at uh, Slough Industrial Estate there's loads of petrol stations and we can buy some antifreeze the window has completely like frozen over and um, there, there was no water in the wipes you. What's this you're trying to do, Emma? Uh, Chloe. You're going live with me, Chloe. What does that mean? I don't know what I'm doing. Do 
did, did you mean to try and go live with me? Well, go for it, Charlie. Um. Because that's where the train is. Right? Yeah. Yeah, go right. Right, I'm coming off live, folks, to fix the van. Go over to the Zach's Live Electric Visibility to find out more. Hello, folks. So, anyone that's come over from my Create with a Difference page, hi, thank you very much. Just to give you up to speed, I'm off to the Skills for Care Accolades 2018. I'm a finalist in Best Individual Employer. There's only four in my category, four of us, so, you know. Um, the, there will be fancy ass reward shirts so I look like a girl. Lots of cool things, famous people going to be there. There's a celeb host. Um, Emma has, we've pulled over at petrol station to get fuel and try and fix the windscreen. Otherwise, we're going home. Looks like there was nothing she could buy. So fantastic. Fantastic. So they're about as useful as a goldfish at this uh, garage. If not, there is a there is a like a proper actual car garage uh up the road so let's see if we can get it all fixed and get the windscreen so it's safe to drive with if not it is home time and i will miss the accolades this year but like the last four weeks everything's gone wrong for me to get these accolades today like everything has like just everything so i'm feeling like there's a bad omen going on right now so yeah that's us what the fuck are we getting out of the car are we staying in the car why are we not driving what the hell so yes but didn't doesn't emma maybe look pretty keep you posted bye bye so we have arrived at the venue safe and sound it snow's not bad at all in london and all in our route too it's literally just the streets out from my house so we're here safe and sound we're going to find somewhere to park and then go and have I don't know if I'm allowed to um, film in the award show, but if I am, I will. So, yes. Vele, vele nervous. So, we just had lovely dinner, lunch. What is the abbreviation for dinner, lunch? Obviously, breakfast is brunch. Um, dunch. Dunch. We just had dunch at Nando's. Lina. 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 We said Lina slash Dunch at Nando's. I'm wrapped up like an Eskimo in the car while Emma gets changed because she couldn't drive in her heels and dress. And then we're off to the awards show. So I don't know what the rules are about parking. Ernie went back in his car seat and went back to sleep. Even he hasn't walked in the rain, in the snow and like that's rare. Take the sat nav bit out, Emma. The sat nav charger bit out and then plug the plug in. I don't know. Plug it back in. No, my straighteners will make funny noises. Don't like that noise. You must know if it makes that noise normally. Just give it a minute. It might just be the car warming up. It doesn't normally make that noise, no. Oh, look, it's stopping now. Maybe just because the car was cold. No, take them out. Fuck. No, my breathing machine never does. Breathing machine, your ventilators must not take as much power as mate as normal plugs. What, as a straight Yeah. Surely they take more. I don't know. Oh, great. So we have a little plug thing there, and it I'm a fag lighter for our, our ventilator, and Paul has one at the front of his ventilator. I'm going to turn it off. Emma's getting naked now. So, food was absolutely scrumptious and we froze our titties off. And I'll see you all in a minute. Bye. So, I'm going to with you. Amazingly well. So, 
what I want to do now is say to you, because of all your hard work and your dedication and, and what you do for people in our communities day in, day out and night out, you deserve to celebrate, let your hair down and have a great time tonight. I really hope you will and I just want to wish you all the very best of luck. Now at this point I should have been introducing you to our sponsor of this uh, champagne ceremony. Unfortunately, um, the colleague from ACC TV isn't able to be here because of that white stuff. Um, so, he, the white stuff, the snow, the snow! <laughs> Here's our table. Cool little lights. Look at the roof. Here's the room. Right, Emma, smile. <laughs> and smile, look. Oh, look at that big long look into the camera. So exciting. What's the menu? Let me have a look at the menu. Show mum, look. Here you go, Mama. This is what the menu is. Chocolate tart. <laughs> I thought you said chocolate turd. I was like, first are you American and second what the hell? <laughs> what, what alcohol is that on the table? Let, let me get a picture of it, look. Oh, look. Oh, it's chilled, look. Oh, look. Savion Blanc. Chicken what, liver parfait. What are them things on the table, the yellow things? Butter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're in shape, let's get a picture. I'm so common, I'm excited because the butter's a shape. Oh, look at it. Right, stay there because I'm filming. Now let me do that. Is seed fillet of beef, served with root vegetables, Yorkshire puddings, and a pan jus. I'm so happy that I have a peg and that today was my cheat day, we went to Nando's. But we have chocolate tart, which could be but good. But we have chocolate tart, which should be good. And I've got Krispy Kreme on the back of me. We're in a fancy hall and I've brought Krispy Kreme, folks. He's gone to sleep, as per normal. Very exciting. I met one of the people I'm up against, Claire and her lovely family. That was lovely. So yes, I'm going to have some water now. And yeah, I will turn the camera on again later. Bye. Peggy's having some wine. <laughs> Um, yeah, just do ten flat. Oh my god, it's dribbling all over me! Oh, what the hell am I? It's got all down my top! What's the matter? Because the clip slipped off. What the? Dry off my... Dry down my top. Yeah, it slipped a bit. This is all on camera. Dry down... You need to put it in the bra because that's cold. It's wet in there. Yeah. Emma's getting a feel at the table. I think she's got all of that on camera as well. There's me like, drink all down me and my dog's just asleep. He's sleeping. So we'll have to see how drunk this is going to get me. Because, you know, we're bypassing a massive part of the system and going straight to the bloodstream. <laughs> the belly bulge is bigger than the boots. <laughs> 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 
in my defense, I have no tools, so much tools. So anything looks fine. At that angle, you don't know where the boob starts and the belly ends. Apparently wine and pegs is not a great combo. It hurts, it doesn't make you feel good, and this happens to your stomach. So, don't have white wine with a peg, folks. Terrible idea. Ernie's got his own water bowl. White wine, just don't do it. Just don't. It's really funny. So, I think the head man in charge of food and things here is the one that's serving at our table. So, the starter came around, I have a peg on me by mouth. Mains comes round, I have a peg on me by mouth. Dessert comes round, I know you want one, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. It was amazing. Although, I think I had like four bites because it was so sickly. Ernie went to the toilet outside. Um, we went outside without our coats on because it takes eight years to get dressed, to get in and out. And the gust of wind has literally... I don't know whether it's going to do my lungs the world of good to be that blown open or give them pneumonia. So, yeah. It is cold, people. I am English. We are built for nothing. Heat, no. Cold, no. We're just not... Emma? We're inside the building, it's very posh. It's very posh. We had, we had champagne, champagne was there. We had champagne when we first came in. Hi, Mama. Ernie's asleep, look, already. Look, show him Ernie. He's gone, that's him now. Show everyone the room. Look at the room. <laughs> You're so nice. Please be assured it was a really 
transparent, robust process, and it was really inspiring and invigorating to hear all of the stories from the people that have been nominated for awards, especially in the areas of recruitment, apprenticeships, integration of care, leadership, and about what makes a great employer. So I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more about those, in those stories this evening. Just finally, I wanted to say how great it is to be involved with the accolades. It's one of those rare opportunities that we've got an opportunity to smell the coffee. We can actually praise ourselves for the work that we do. You know, the work that we do is hard, but opportunities like this are really inspiring and invigorating and really let us think about the great work that we do. Anyway, enough of me. I'd like to introduce Dane Moyer again, the Chair for Skill for Care, who will more formally introduce the evening events. Thank you so much. Enjoy your evening and prepare to be inspired, infused and humbled in equal measure. Thank you very much. Good evening everybody. I can tell just from going to the ladies room that you're having a good time tonight. <laughs> like to just take a few minutes to um, uh, say first of all uh, a very warm welcome to this the 15th Skills for Care Accolade Award Ceremony. I speak on behalf of the Board of Skills for Care and I know that they all want to be joined in that welcome. And I want to say of course congratulations to those of you who have battled your way through difficult conditions to be here and make contributions in adult social care. It also provides us with the opportunity, as Ed said, to come together to celebrate excellence, innovation and, above all, high quality care and support in an unsung but vital service. It's a chance for us all to share what makes our finalists stand out in a field of more than 20,000 employers and learn for the future from their innovative thinking on delivering services. All our finalists share an understanding that without a skilled and knowledgeable workforce, any aspirations to improve services will be building on sand. So my thanks to everyone in this room who champions and delivers the investment of time and resource in their workforce. We will all profit from that commitment. A few more thanks from me, firstly and very importantly to our sponsors who make this event possible. Your generous support is much appreciated by all of us at Skills for Care. Secondly, thanks also to all the judges who contributed their time and expertise as they made some difficult decisions. And we might get to hear some comments about judges later on tonight, which would be very interesting. Um, but they were all excellent judges. Um, and I'd like to say a thank you to everyone in this room and beyond who goes the extra mile to make the lives of those who need care and support for whatever reason less lonely, more bearable, more worthwhile and more like the life we want to live. Thank you. Thank you all. And finally to our finalists, thank you for being exemplars of making a difference. On behalf of our board and everyone at Skills for Care, I want to wish you all the very best of luck because this is your night to be in the spotlight. So after saying those thanks, my only remaining task, and I'm being judged on this, the quality of this introduction, I can tell you, um, my, my task is to introduce our guest presenter. And tonight we are very, very fortunate to have with us one of the most familiar faces of British television, Anton Dubake.
combined with the kindness and the generosity of spirit, which allows him to take Dan's partners, or shall we say, variable abilities over the years, to a standard that they cannot have imagined attaining. And I know that he's also popular because of his willingness to stand up um, for his dance partners when other judges make what the audience sees as unnecessarily harsh comments. We may hear some of them tonight, though. Not content with world-class skills in dancing, Anton has also just released his first solo album, From the Top, and we may hear something from him, too, on that one. So I'm absolutely delighted. I am absolutely delighted. I leave you in very safe hands that he has taken time from such a busy life to be with us tonight. So please welcome Anton DeBake to be our host this evening.
going for a wee. Don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> Someone said, but I've done, hang on, hang on, let me turn the camera around. Oh, I you didn't turn the camera on, but you missed the bit where they got stuck. I've made Emma run out now. We've already took him out once and he died of pneumonia. There he is. Oh, look, he's gone. So they're coming back in. He's gone for a toilet. As, uh, they don't have to be in association uh, with the industry and stuff. The association I have is that my mum was a carer in what they used to call an old people's home for many, many years. Uh, a resident care home, I don't think you remember. And all I can tell you is that she was incredible. She did a, a, an incredible job. I remember she would do nights, and there were times at Christmas, for example, we weren't allowed to open our presents until mum got home from work. You, all I can say is that you guys are remarkable. And the accolades that you receive, as far as I'm concerned, aren't enough. I think you guys are wonderful. Congratulations to you all. You do an incredible job. I was doing something yesterday, actually, uh, 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 something else, and it's funny how sometimes something in your head seems more interesting than it actually is, and what it was, there was, there was this countrywide competition that had been going on to find the nation's favourite workforces, and the fire, there are five finalists, and carers have been selected as one of the five finalists. And I think that's absolutely amazing. I think you're absolutely right as well. Give yourself a round of applause. Congratulations, Well done. Now, it's obviously my eyes are perfect. It's just my arms have got shorter somehow. So, now I'm going to go here and, and start with this um, script. All the first words of my own, these are written. I'm delighted to...
Oh, look at them panda eyes I've got. <laughs> Hello, folks. So, I'm on a live on the Facebook group, Mum. Oh, are you? Yeah. No, it's fine. It's our Facebook group. Hi, girls and boys. I just wanted to say thank you very much for all of the love and support while Mummy's been poorly. Thank you very much for all of your um, support for the awards show. I will take a nice picture. I've got a certificate of commendment. Is that how you... It's a highly commended certificate with my name on. And my name's in this little brochure thing, which is really cool. So, um, I had an absolutely wonderful time. I want to say thank you very much to Emma for driving in that snow. It's actually quite funny, but London is a lot safer place to be right now than our, where we live is. Like, it was so safe, it was ridiculous. <laughs> so, I just wanted to say hi. And I also wanted to say that employee of the month for February is Miss Steph and you'll get a certificate as to why um, but you probably won't get your certificate till Sunday because Sunday um, I'm not on my computer until Sunday so um, yes you got yours so well done employee of the month um, I have no idea who has the trophy so whoever does, give it to Steph, please. Um, I'm very, very excited about all of the fun things I've got happening. It was absolutely wonderful to see an actual award show for something that's so important. I didn't know that Care had an award show, and now I do. It's made me really determined. So I really, really hope that this time next year, you'll all want to in, um, nominate me again, and we'll see if we can win next year. And hopefully Mummy will be much, much better so she can be with me. Um, I hope you're all having a nice weekend and that you're all driving safe and things. Complete train wreck on our road. But as I say, I'm on the motorway from Showcase, on the motorway and all the way to and from London. It was completely, like, ridiculously safe. Um, so we've done really well. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your help and support. Um, it's been quite emotional, actually with mummy being poorly and that because obviously you know we don't I don't have many working family members left they're in the country so um uh, my husband's crippled so you know that's not really ideal I didn't think that one through did I uh but no I appreciate all of your help I really couldn't have done it um without you um for the award show um without the angels there was no Zach's so I just wanted you to know how important you are and appreciated you are for all of the things that you do. Um, I want all of my angels over the last three years, whether you're here now or not, I want to thank you so much for all of your support and for making this my most successful care package ever in my life. And um, I'm really um, appreciative of all of your love and support and all of the memories. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for your nominations. Um, I think it would be nice if more of the team went next year. Um, mo everyone else in the category had their whole team go. And when she won, it was absolutely wonderful to see everyone. Um, to see everyone um, with her. So I think that would be ever so lovely if we'd done that next year. Um, so thank God it was in London. Last year it was in Liverpool, the year before Manchester. So thank God it was London so we could do it in a day trip. But um, uh, so I don't know where it will be next year. Um, I have, um, I am, can now confirm that I'm working with Skills for Care to create the Charlie's Angels model, which will be a business model, um, which will create a training program to, for more individual employees to access to get more individual employees. And this will be linked closely with Let's Track Disability. So I'll be going out and training up PAs and employers and helping them create better packages. And basically I wanna get rid of care agencies. It was wonderful to see that um, so many of the individual employers have themselves um, struggled with it. Um, I don't know if Emma caught the beginning speech where they were um, praising the PAs as well as the individual employers. 
Um, so I hope she managed to get that live. I did do a bit of vlogging because mummy was so sad that she didn't couldn't come. So I'm going to put that together over the weekend. Um, I, want, um, I don't know if you've seen, but I'll put the picture up on the group when I'm finished. That Bra Wokenham and Bracknell News um, published an article on me on the 28th of February. So if you're in the area and get the paper... Um, you can, but they've given me my page that I'm on. So, Mummy's now going to start a scrapbook because she feels I've had enough public appearances to warrant a special scrapbook. God help me. I feel like such a knob. It's hilarious. I was whispering when I was vlogging yesterday and these people came over and they were just staring at me. I don't know how the fuck people do that shit for a living. And, like, openly, me and Emma, I dragged her over to a corner to whisper because I didn't want to look like a tit. I don't know how people do that. If it wasn't for mummy not being there, I never would have done it. Um, Ernie was deeply loved. I met Antoine Dubeck, and he is quite honestly the nicest person and funny as hell. He's in love with my son. Um, we had loads of pictures taken. Um, I met some really, really nice people, and I met so many people. I met the bigwigs, owners, CEOs, and corporate bigwigs of Skills for Care, and I can't believe they know who I am. And um, I'm looking forward to this next chapter. I'm working with them to create um, better training and to create a business model for individual employers so they can be successful um, and to praise all of the PAs. So I just thought I'd pop on and tell you. I want to say thank you so much to Emma for working so many days back to back. Please go home and sleep. Um, I love you all lots and lots. And I, what? Well, He's looking at me right now. I'm on the phone. I'm not on the phone, I'm on a camera. The intelligence that you have, but you haven't yet worked out what a webcam is. I'm on camera. He's just staring me down like, what the fuck, why aren't you touching me? Only done really well. He had to go outside once, because once the music started, it got a bit loud, but otherwise, he done really well. We have now discovered that wine does not agree with my belly. I don't like the taste, so I've never drunk it. But one time at a family party when I thought it was lemonade, when I was a child, um, and it completely blew up my stomach and the pain was unreal. So wine is something that does not agree with me. I also paid just under nine fucking pounds for a vodka Coke in London. The cheek of it. Um, I was naughty and I went to Nando's. I'm really happy I did because the dinner they put on... Oh, uh, oh, but I did have a little bit, little bit of their marble chocolate tart, but the biscuit was too dry and it was a big choke hazard. So um, Emma scooped out the chocolate bit, and then that got too sickly as well. However, I did still before we left eat two Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> I walked into this fancy ass award show. And I walked in with a box of Krispy Kremes. I came out with a bunch of souvenir brochures with my names in that I stole. Um, my, my commitment certificate. A bunch of padded envelopes that were all pretty that Emma stole for me so I can use them for packaging. And I stole mum a massive bottle of wine. So the classiness was just through the roof. Honestly, it was such, I'm really happy I went. Um, the reason what made me go was... Um, I saw Steve on Wednesday and Wednesday night, uh, Steve and Gran and Grandad came to me in my dream. Grandad hasn't come to me since he passed, but Steve and Gran have, and they all told me to go. And so, um, I'm really happy that they did. Um, I quite like seeing my dead people, although I'm just going to put it out there for the universe. If anyone else is dead people want to come and chat to me, could you not? Cause that's just fucking weird. I only like my dead people, okay? Just mine. Um, so they all came and they told me to go. Um, it was absolutely wonderful. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone that voted. Um, you're all wonderful. And I wouldn't be able to get my award if you didn't do such a good job. So thank you very much. I love you all. Um, I'm going to go now because mum wants to watch a film. And Ernie's pissed off. Because he's tired and he's been up late. So, I love you all. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, no, it's just over. That last one sums up my life. 
Oh my god. Now I'm 26. The mono brownie's done. <gasps> Twice a year. Fuck you, feel bad, girls. This is how they look all year long. No, seriously, though, I'm fucking wrecked. The least I deserve is long legs, good hair, and good eyebrows. Those girls still not answering their cells? Nope. You'd think the older sister would look out for the little...